What's up guys? So I've owned this mower since 2018. I'll have the video clips right here. I'm gonna go and do a screen recorder and record a few of my video clips. Um, I'll, rec I'll And I'll put the links down below to the, the video when I bought this so y'all can see exactly, you can have proof of exactly when I bought it. And I'm gonna put the, a couple video clips together right now of my Xmark commercial 30 inch X series, which is the new one with the Kohler engine. What's up guys? Good morning. I'm just showing you here's the video of when I purchased the uh, Time Master back in the day. I'll have linked to that down below. Um, and then I'm about to show you one of my many, many videos about the Toro Turf Master. Um, I got reviews about it. I got lots of other info, lots of mowing about it. You can just type in Tony's Lawn Care Toro Turf Master. Just like you see there, there'll be all kind of action videos, all kind of stuff. You can also type in Tony's Lawn Care Third. Well, you won't have to type in any of this because I'll have it all linked below. And then this is me talking about the X-Series, the new one with that color engine on it, my thoughts about it. Um, so there's plenty of info about that. Check out my man Keep It Mode. He's got a lot of info about these mowers. He did a swap out, put the bigger engine on there. Also, check out my man uh, Londe Lawn Care. I guess how you say that. I've um, been watching him for a while. He watches my channel. Great guy. Actually had this new video saved in my watch later to watch on the weekend on the big screen. But check this out. He put the Kohler engine on the light mower. This is like the best of both worlds, right? So... Pretty sweet. He talks about that. So y'all be sure to check those out. All the links be In my experiences with that mower. Also, I'll have videos down below of the older Toro Turfmaster 30-inch commercial with the Kawasaki engine. I've owned all three. Um, and so I will, you know, I think this possibly is the best mower to buy, even out of all those three. I had the new one with the upgraded transmission, the old commercial one. I had this one, and I always pretty much reach for this one. all right guys what's up so like i said i've had all three the new x series x mark i've had a toro turf master like a 2014 2015 model i've had this since 2018 maybe 2017 it'll tell you in the video but it's been a long time um you see i got a lot of hours on it wheels are completely bald um you know if you're considering one of these uh it's a great mower um you know, I paid a thousand bucks for it. Now I think they're more like fifteen hundred, but I still would consider it. Um, still got a lot of good things about it. So let's go over some of the issues that I've had. I'm sitting down here, pretty tired. Been a long day, so I'm gonna uh, show y'all. But so these are some of the things people complain about. So these, so here's what happens with these. Um, over time, over time, what happens is is this little cap, these little caps pop off and you don't know it because they're underneath the cover and dirt fills up in here and then it destroys the bearing and then these blow out right here, all right? So that's why people complain about these pulleys on these mowers and they do, I have had these blow out. But here's a tip, secret tip on how to make this last a long time. What you do is when I replaced the pulleys, which has been like a couple of years ago now, and I still had zero issues with them, is I glued this cap on there, right? So that way this cannot come off. Um, and you would say, well, if you glue this cap on there, how are you gonna like service it or whatever? Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need to take this pulley off unless the bearing blows out anyway. And if the bearing blows out, you wouldn't even need a wrench to remove it. This whole thing will just come off and the, and the middle part of the bearing will be left on the on the bolt. Because <laughs> I've already had that happen before. So, with that being said, I glued these on there. You still see a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but... So I glued those on there. It's probably been like a year or two ago and they've been perfect ever since. So that's a big tip. I would just, I'll glue these caps on there, make sure there's no dirt inside and then glue the caps on. And that will definitely help these to last longer. I bought a pair of them. They're like 25 bucks for two of them. They're very cheap, even if you blew them out. Or they were. I mean, who knows nowadays, you know, with the way parts are. Like I said, I paid a thousand bucks, but now they're like 1500 bucks. But, um, yeah, so 
Uh, so that's one problem I had, and but it wasn't a huge deal because you can fix that. Now, the blades will hit when that blows out. The blades will hit and it'll sound horrible. And so you're going to have to either try to sharpen and straighten your blades out and everything or put a new set of blades on it when you do that. And these blades are timed as well. See this notch in this belt? This right here is notched. So when one blade is like this, the other blade is like this. So they they got to... They got to be set like that so they don't hit each other when you when they spin around. So, but it's pretty simple when you're putting this back together. Just put one blade this way, one blade this way, and you're you're pretty good. And spin them around. Just make sure they don't hit. You know, with the mower off, spin them around. Make sure they don't hit. Um, you know, I've replaced this belt once. Uh, I replaced this belt at least once. Um, and I got videos on how to on you know installing both of those as well now on the commercial the toro commercial i believe the frame is the same on the toro and the x mark this part now i've owned all of them and this part is completely different on the commercial all this is metal this the bracket in there like nothing is the same so all this is heavier duty on the commercial one but even when I owned all, when I had all three of them sitting in the garage, I would always tend to grab this one just because this mower is so much lighter. Um, the personal pace is so much easier on your hands and everything. I would just, I would tend to grab this one all the time, even though I owned all three of them. Um, so that should tell you something right there. So, you know, um, this is going to be heavier duty on the commercial one. I believe this frame part is the same because when I had them sitting beside each other, I couldn't tell difference. Um, and uh yeah but y'all check out those other videos to really get filled in on the pros and cons of the commercial one and all that i don't want to make this video really about that but on the other hand i kind of want to you know fill you guys in on comparing them now this has a huge bag i don't know what size this is but the commercial ones it kind of went like this on both of my commercial units the bag was not quite as big as this probably like 10 15 percent less can fit in the commercial one it went down straight like this maybe that's so they don't overload it you know in a commercial setting or whatever um you know i just put this on here for the video i don't bag with it all the time it does it bags excellent but you know i don't have to bag with it all the time so but i wanted to show you all the bag um it's got a mulch plug that goes in there um so this cable i've replaced i think twice um it it breaks fairly easy uh, but I think it was a little too tight down here from the factory and so this one's actually been lasting a lot longer and I think it's because I you know adjusted it a little less tight and so I think maybe this one will last for a long time because it's been on there for a while a long while um, what other problems I have with it I'm still on this same transmission now I have swapped the transmission the commercial the commercial transmissions are not the same as this I repeat they are not the same some people say they're the same but I've you know had them both side by side I've had the transmissions out of the mower this one's like a plastic case um, similar like dimensions and stuff um, but they're you know this one's a complete plastic case the, all the commercial ones are a metal case um, so they are not the same um, you know but even this one has been good it's been good i've had no issues with it i don't know if it's 100 percent as strong as it was when i first bought it but it's still working good for me and i you know use it on steep stuff and everything so let's get into one more problem i'm going to wrap this up because i don't want to make it too long for you guys but this gas tank you see it's got a sponge in there um so some people say you can take this out i don't know if it's safe to do that or not I feel like it's in there for a reason uh so i've not taken it out like when you're filling it up though with that sponge it's hard to tell you don't know until you're like right up at the top so you got to fill it really slowly so you don't so you make sure you don't overfill it because with that with that sponge in there you can't really tell you know if it's half or three quarters full or whatever um so that is something with this particular engine this is kind of a cheaper engine than the commercial ones for sure for sure not as good of an engine but it works good it's got a lot of power um, another problem is I'm mowing along and it's done this like for years and if you're mowing a big long with it probably three quarters into the a big lawn this will you know just vibrate and turn a little bit as you're mowing 
and it'll eventually like come off like that or it'll just sit there but it won't be like latched so it just kind of vibrates the cap kind of vibrates itself loose um so that's another little issue how with it you know not a deal breaker the sponge is not a deal breaker either what i do is just kind of slowly top it off every time i use it and it works good if you have a big yard you can definitely use that whole tank because i think the tongue or the sponge kind of takes up some of the room in there um so it doesn't last as long on fuel you know as the commercial ones would obviously the commercial ones have bigger tank and such um but that's kind of the deal with that other than that had no real issues with the motor it works great uh for what it is you know it's not bad at all um i mean that's pretty much it it, it mulches great it bags great there's probably something else i'm forgetting and i'll remember it later when y'all actually watch the video but um yeah i mean it's it's been a really been a really good mower and i would i would highly recommend it check out the other videos on why uh my problems with the other mowers but um you know i actually like the old commercial one the 2015 or 2014 model i like it better than the new x series one with the new heavy duty transmission and all that i like the old one with the kawasaki engine motor on it better and i'll explain that you know or i'll link the video in the top of the description of why i why i think that and all that um but you know that's pretty much it um on this mower like i said i replaced the belts a couple times you can do all this stuff yourself it's easy i have videos on how to replace every single bell i have videos on how to replace the cable um you know it's pretty straightforward mower it's pretty lightweight i mean it's not light it's not it's way heavier than a 21 but it's way lighter than the other you know commercial models i like that this handle folds up um you know the commercial ones don't really do that um and like i said i've owned two different ones um i did on um, the commercial ones will have like a little bracket that comes up right here and on one sometimes on my commercial ones i would take the bolt out right here and i would put a, a pin like a clip you know like where you stick the pin through and then it has a little metal part loops over and so i like modified my commercial one so i could fold it up and that did work um but i like how this one built in you know you can fold it up um this one is way lighter like i said i'm gonna wrap this up but i think it's a great mower um i kind of it kind of hurts my feelings that you guys would have to pay 1500 knowing that i paid 1000 but you know four or five years later whatever it is i know that this just costs more money um i never know like i like to keep the cover on just so stuff doesn't get in this notch belt or any like bushes or anything but when i leave the cover on i'm always nervous that there's going to be grass filling up around these pulleys and i don't want any grass to you know fill up in there because it it's kind of open back under there and so grass can blow up in here um that was one thing on the commercial ones that were kind of cool because on this cover on the commercial ones it had like a metal cutout right here and you could easily just remove this little plate and like use your blower and blow through here obviously you can't do that on this one um so i'm kind of torn whether i want to leave the cover off or keep it on it looks way better with it on um and i've not had a huge problem with it building up too much right here but you know i just always worry about it because you can't see when this is on so that's pretty much it that's my thoughts on the more if you have any other questions let me know but that's the deal with it and uh i'm gonna wrap this up i don't want to make it any longer than it already is if you have any other questions let me know see ya